So now we'll just hop into the cabin again. Each truck manufacturer is going to be different. Currently today we're in an Isuzu, so we can go through their offerings. But again, truck manufacturer manual, always refer to that. But on a pre-start, you want to make sure your left, right indicators are working. You'll uh, have someone outside also making sure, making sure your hazard lights are working. You'll be going through your lights, parkers, high beam also, all working. Horn, another one. You want to make sure UHF radio is working. That's working there. Uh, your remote controls also. Got those in the holders. Want to make sure they're being put back. So we've got your flashing beacon down here. Make sure that's working. Uh, with this particular VAC truck, that has a Jetta on it, so it's a PDO driven one. So we just want to make sure PDO is engaging. It's engaging there on the dash. Off, and then we just want to make sure for creature comforts that our air conditioning is working and the heater. And your front wheel to mister all working as it should. Uh, your windscreen wipers also. Also working. And then yeah, again, you just want to look at your windows. Both windows are working. And something important that we touched on earlier, we've identified the mirrors don't have any damage at all, but then you just want to make sure that you got the mirrors in the right spot before you look to take off. Also another important thing, we have touched on it, but you've got your truck manufacturer manual. You'll find that above your steering wheel. So that's all there, the Isuzu one for reference. And if you look in your center console here, you'll find your operator's manual there for the HDV 6000. Always want to make sure you have your manual before you leave the site. So now we've done the truck cabin, we'll work our way through the vac truck and just do a simple pre-start to make sure the things work how they should. So first thing, we'll just go look up the top of the hydraulic tank and we can see by the gauge up the top there, there's plenty of hydraulic fluid. We'll then go down, we'll just start the unit up, make sure it's sounding how it should sound. It's starting up well. So again, everything's starting as it should. We'll go through the operation later. It all looks good. We we'll just check the e-stop, and e-stop's working fine as well. So I'll just go through, make sure we've got water in the saddle tank, so they're full, they're plumbed in together. So if it's full here, the other tank's full over there. So we've identified saddle tanks are full, we've got the engine running, the gurneys are engaged, so now we just want to check and make sure that we do have water. And then we'll come around to the other side also, and we'll check and make sure that the water pump here is working as well. And as you come to the back of the truck, we've confirmed the water pumps are working. Just double check the site glasses, make sure uh, night shift have uh, emptied the tank and you're not having any debris. There also, you can hear it's empty, but that'll give you a good guide to make sure your tank's empty before you head off to site. So as we come over to the driver's side, the one important thing, and I do stress, we do this when the machine is turned off. Now we just have a quick look at the engine, the main part being your belts here, your drive belts for your water pumps and your blower. Just have a look, make sure they're intact, and then look under here, making sure there's no debris of the belts. They're all aligned and, uh, and they look good. They look real good. And then we'll just have a quick look at the engine dipstick on the cat engine, just located here. That all looks good. So here we'll just check our work lights and our cabinet lights. Cabinet lights, both working. Work lights, we just go through. We've got one on the boom here, and then to the rear. Two up there on the passenger side, and two over here on the driver's side. And over here, if we need to get access, and it's a bit dark, we've also got an extra light up there as well. 